morning. It's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. Today is Thursday. It is September the 9th, 2021. And I did put up a post this morning to let you guys know I was going to go to the doctor and get tested for COVID. Mainly because I know Chris tested negative. But I did have that headache for about seven days. Then the next day, I had a severe sore throat. Yesterday, I felt wonderful in the morning. But by afternoon, I started getting a lot of congestion in my chest. And it was enough that I, when I coughed it up, it was sticky and yellow. And that seems like really fast to me for it to get that way at that amount of time. Because I haven't had a runny nose. I haven't been... Um, having a lot of congestion in my head or anything and it's already in my chest now i have been taking that drug that i showed y'all yesterday um last night i did decide to take some robitussin i am feeling really sleepy today i do not have a fever uh, i have not had a fever so it may just be the sinus infection from chris i don't know um but the way my doctor's office does it is they make you go to a satellite office and it has a red door and you go in and you get tested. So I've already been there this morning, but it's not a rapid test. So we're not going to know the results probably until Saturday, uh, she said. So with that said, <coughs> I am going to keep going. I mean, I'm going to rest today, but I wanted to do Bible study this morning, and then I'm going to go take a nap, and then when I get up from my nap, I'm going to make a meatloaf, and I hope to go live going uh, with my meatloaf. So, I will see you guys hopefully in the kitchen today doing a meatloaf. Um, I'm just in the mood for one. I wanted to make one yesterday, and we didn't because we went out on the boat. Do I think the boat aggravated it? Not really. I mean, the boat was good for me. I got out. I got some fresh air. I got some sun, which is vitamin D. That's good for you. Um, I was feeling great. I'm not kidding. I really was. I was not feeling bad yesterday. And so today, I'm just a little sleepy and tired. We are going to just wait on that test. And I did hear that Hillbilly Kitchen, her husband passed away with COVID. If you watch Hillbilly Kitchen, um, that is the name of that, isn't it, Chris? Uh, sure. Yeah. Her husband's name was, um, y'all had read, I want to say Brett. Um, I don't watch them, so I don't really know them by name. Um, I believe her name was Becky. Y'all know who I'm talking about if you watch that show. Um, she lost her husband to COVID. And they thought they had the flu and were taking medicine for the flu. So we'll continue to pray for her and hope that she recovers well and pray for the loss of her husband. Now, many people have it. Many people are um, dying. Now, me and Chris have been vaccinated, and I'm hoping that maybe this is um, a lighter version because we were vaccinated, but we really don't know. And we, you don't really know how your body's going to do with it until you get it. So, yes, Phyllis, it's Becky's husband. He did pass away. It's sad. And they both had, um, th they thought they had the flu. I looked on their on their youtube page because like i said i don't watch them that is one uh youtube channel i don't watch a lot and i know i know what she looks like i've looked at it enough to know what she looks like but i noticed she hasn't posted for three weeks so they've been really sick she's posted posts on their community page but not an actual video that's new so um Yes, I think the monk fruit is safe. It's all natural. <laughs> oh, why wouldn't it be safe? I told you it's 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 a good product. It doesn't have anything to do with me and Chris getting sick. Um, 
we're just sick. You know, it's just part of life. You get out and you get exposed to different things and you just never know. Um, it's just the way it is. And that's how COVID works. I mean, we've had lots of YouTubers that we know that have gotten sick. We have friends that we know that have gotten sick. Uh, past church members that we know that have gotten sick and passed away with COVID. That's why I try to emphasize that you need to know for sure, absolutely, without a shadow of doubt, that you're going to be in heaven one day um, if you do pass. Because all of us are not immune to, um, let me turn this down, to passing away with COVID, okay? Whether you're vaccinated or not, me and Chris, like I said, are vaccinated. I take vitamin D every day. I take vitamin D and that's our, uh, somebody's at the door. Are you gonna get that or do I need to? I take vitamin D and I take vitamin I forget, B, B12 and vitamin D. I take both of those. Um, I don't know who he's talking to. He knew the man by name, whoever it was. Um, we have a new neighbor. I got exciting news. He was out in the front today. And I knew he was Asian, but I didn't know for sure, you know, because I didn't see him up close, close. He's about, he is a retired man, and he was out in the front. They, the house sold next to us, and um, they've been working on it. And I haven't cooked him anything because we're sick, and I don't want to spread nothing. <laughs> but um, I will, once we all get better, take him a pie or something over there. But his wife's name is Christine. I'm excited because they're a little bit older than us, but not a lot. And he's actually Japanese because his name is, uh, Chris, tell me what his name is. I want to say, uh, hold on and I'll tell you. I wrote it down. I told my kids because they love Japanese cartoons and Japan. They just love Japan and anything to do with Japanese. Um, his name is Noka. And so I was excited about that. So we have new neighbors and it's um, Noka and Christine. And I don't know their last name, but they're Japanese. I'm super excited. Maybe she could teach me to, to cook some Japanese food, y'all. I'm excited. Um, but I just want to, to tell y'all that I have to wait on my test, but that's good because it's not a rapid test. That means it'll be a better test. And so I called my doctor's office because they make you go to a satellite office, like I said, with a red door on it. Nobody was there, thank the good Lord, because I was worried about going in there because if I do just have a sinus infection, I hate to go into a place where they're testing for COVID, but I went in and nobody was in there and they only had fold out chairs. Um, it was really clean and they took me back and swabbed my nose and said it would be probably Saturday before they call me. And I uh, called my doctor's office back when I got home because Chris was worried because with this getting in my chest so quick, he was like, Timmy, they didn't give you any medicine. I said, no. And so he said, you need to call the doctor and see if they'll give you some medicine. I said, okay. So I called and left a message on my doctor's machine to see if they'll call me in some medication. Um, since I do, I know it's in my chest and it's thick and it's yellow and it did it in two days. So regardless of what it is, it's pretty fast, however, whatever it is. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe they'll call me an antibiotic. Chris is a lot better since he got his antibiotic. He's still got congestion in his chest, but he feels good. He has went out and cut the grass. He has done all kinds of stuff. And, um, so he's doing well. And that's pretty much it. Brenda says she lived in Japan for three years. Really? Um, let me see what Chris is doing, if you don't mind. Hold on. You 
hear me getting on to my husband? He's talking to our new neighbor. I said, you don't need to get close to him because we're sick. He better not get close to him. I'll be whooping his butt. He's got a, hold on a minute. I'm going to go be nosy. Women have to do stuff like this, y'all, because men do not think like women. I'm sorry, but they don't. Um, Angela R. says, I know I haven't watched in a while, but where is this? I don't recognize the kitchen. <laughs> this is not my kitchen. This is what used to be the old kitchen in this house. This is my office. Um. I know he's out there and they're talking about the fence and I think they're doing some measurements, but they're outside. Y'all think I should go get on to him? Oh, I'm so tired. That man, um, that man is older than us. I can tell. So I think I'm going to go. Um, rear my ugly head out there and tell that man that we are not feeling well so that he knows not to get too close to Chris because Chris just thinks he's just good to go and you know we may just have a sinus infection but to be on the safe side we have to be we have to be careful I'll be right back y'all gonna see how my red head uh
I'm sorry, y'all. I went out there and told that man. Um, I told him when I started feeling better, I would cook him something good to eat. He definitely uh, stepped back a little bit when I told him. So, um, they were putting a few screws in the in the fence. I told them I was going to go out there and tell that man because I knew you wouldn't. Um, anyway, <clears throat> somebody's telling the joke while I'm gone. That's funny. Um, anyway, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but sometimes women have to take care of our men and other people. And, uh, you know, that's why God in the Bible seriously gives the woman, um, we're supposed to be the image of the Holy Spirit in the home and we are the messengers and we do have instinct and, and, uh, ways of caring that men, and I'm not trying to be ugly if you're a man, but we're just made different and God made us different for a reason. And, uh, there's nothing like a mama and a mama's love because mama's, are just that way and we go out of our way to make sure that everybody's all right you know um anyway i'm gonna rest today y'all i promise i know i don't look pretty because i didn't put on my makeup but um as soon as we get off i'm gonna eat some leftover we still have leftover taco skillet we still have leftover chicken salad. Um, I boiled the extra eggs. We've got eggs boiled that we can have egg salad with. And I was thinking maybe I could, um, I mean, a meatloaf is good to make when you're sick because if you mix it up in a minute and it's not much trouble, you get it in the oven and you can have sandwiches on it the next day. Um, so I just hope that you guys um, will all, the study this morning, I was going to do Bible study with you, but I think I'm going to hold off and go eat my lunch and go lay down. But the study this morning, uh, when I was reading through it, was a little confusing anyway. It was a complicated one, one that is got a, it's a little controversial in a way. Um, I really didn't want to go over it with you guys anyway. Uh, because because of that, um, because if I if I elaborate on it, I'm going to have to give an opinion, and I believe truly that what he was saying was an opinion, and I just don't think it's truly a biblical subject necessarily. It's about prayer, but it's it's more than that. Okay, so I didn't really want to go there this morning anyway, and so I had looked at tonight's Bible study. And it's in Revelation, of all things. <coughs> so, I mean, I was just like, well, for heaven's sakes, Charles Spurgeon, what's wrong with you today? <laughs> but anyway, I'll be fine. I do take vitamin D. I take vitamin B every day. I have for years. Um, I've had the vaccine. And I'm sure that um, hopefully... I'll be better tomorrow. But look, y'all, if I get in here and I make a meatloaf, I am going to go live and make a meatloaf. That's one thing I, uh, that a, a lot of people don't realize. And and, and y'all know what I'm talking about. These young mamas out there, if they get sick, you know what they have to do? They have to cook. And they have to keep the, the house going. And uh, we have to do that even more when we have COVID or have symptoms because we won't, don't want to spread them. I mean, it's not really good for people with symptoms to be going out and getting stuff, stuff uh, because they don't feel good. They should stay at home, and if they need to, mix up tuna salad, egg salad, chicken salad, and those kind of things. And so um, I'll probably come on um, when I get up from my nap because then I'll be rested, and I'll make some um, meatloaf for y'all. Anyway, uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. It'll be a couple of days before we know my results. When we get the results, I'll definitely tell you what they are. Otherwise, I hope to see you guys in the morning for regular Bible study at a normal time. 
Um, and I'm hoping that the doctor will call me in an antibiotic today. Y'all have a blessed day. And thanks so much for watching Real Southern Woman, where we love God and we're not ashamed to say it. I love each and every one of y'all, and I'll keep you in my prayers. And I'm sorry I have not hosted prayer requests, but it's just been crazy. But I'll try to get to it. Bye. I love you.